I quit drinking nine months ago. That's pretty good. I say that on stage all the time and nobody fucking claps, so this is a fun room already. I like that. So, uh, I have, I've lost 26 pounds since I quit drinking, though. Yeah, if you're if you're a fat guy out there and you've ever been on a diet, you know for every 30 pounds you lose, you gain back an inch of dick. So. I'm like four pounds away from having an average-sized dick again. Keep that going. Any day now. Any day now. It was doctor's orders. I had to quit drinking. They thought I had a bunch of like diseases, like weird stuff wrong with me. Like for a while they thought uh, they thought I was a celiac. A celiac, yeah, I didn't know what that was. But it's like a gluten intolerance. It's not like a yak with a kazoo and a Groucho Marx mustache. Like it's not a celiac. It's a real disease. Yeah, I don't have that. For a while they thought I had diverticulitis. You heard of that? Also it's terrifying. Not a scuba instructor who doesn't like to be tickled. I found that out. These are real diseases, people. I don't have any of them, though. It turns out just drinking PBR by the gallon isn't fucking good for you. So I found out. Doctor told me that, like, hey, don't do that. It's not good for you. So I gave it up. Uh, <laughs> things are going a lot better for me, though, since then. Uh, I'm in love. I have a love in my life, which is amazing. That's good, yeah. And uh, lucky for me, she's also a comedian and in a 12-step program, so we never, so we never ever have to actually say anything to each other's faces. <laughs> Either share it in a meeting or get up on stage and just let that venom fly. You know? It's awesome. It makes it a lot easier. I'm just telling you, things are all right because of that. Uh, so now that I quit drinking, like, uh, I have dreams, like, yeah, not like goals and shit, like, I mean, like, dream, like, I'm in Gresham doing this, not like dreams, like, you know, like, like, like movies in your head while you're asleep, yeah, like those kind of dreams, uh, like, anybody, does anybody here ever have lucid dreams? Yeah, where you know you're asleep and you can do whatever you want in your dreams? That's a real thing, and that happens to me. And mine are stupid. I have the worst lucid dreams ever. Like, I'll tell you, the last lucid dream I had, I sat on my couch in my underwear and I watched Sports Center and ate cereal. Yeah, I woke up and was like, that was an awesome dream. And then I was like, you were gonna fucking do that anyways. Like, that was your, that was your day. You had a pretty short list. But I kind of also was thinking, like, if that had been a wet dream, like, I could be the most efficient, lazy person in the world, is what I'm saying. Like, if I could do everything I want while I'm asleep, that's a new, that's superhero levels right there. Like, people are like, I don't have any reason to get out of bed in the morning. It's like, I don't have a reason to wake up. I'm just gonna stay here. This is good enough for me. I like it here. I'm just gonna sleep. The rest of my life. Freeze me. Put me next to Walt Disney. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> what else is going on? <sighs> you guys are so, so excited. I don't know what I was going to say. No, uh, I'll tell one little, one little story and then I'll go. Uh, like I said, I've been, losing, I've been losing some weight, trying to make better choices with my life. Um, kind of the, so kind of the catalyst for all that. Um, Maybe the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but like, uh, you fart in your sleep? Everybody farts in their sleep? Finally, I got her to laugh. She hasn't laughed at one fucking thing I've said. Right. Yeah. But have you ever farted in your sleep and it smelled so bad that it registered in the dream that you were having? And like, became part of your subconscious reality? And like, yeah. That's heavy stuff right there, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Inception? 
But I'm pretty sure that's the premise of that movie. Like, if Leonardo DiCaprio walks up to you in your dream and is like, dude, I think you might have shit your pants. Like, it's like, hey, Leo, I got diverticulitis, all right? Take that joke. Don't be an asshole to me, Leo. So, yeah, I've been making better life choices. And then um, I have a sister. I have a sister who had a major weight loss surgery, and she's, uh, she's lost over 100 pounds. Which is, yeah, super awesome. She's not here, you don't have to cheer. Uh, but, so she wants, so recently she wanted to do a 5K. She wanted to participate in a 5K. I used to say I ran a 5K, but I didn't run, so. Uh, I don't know why we call it that anyways, 5K. This is America. It's three miles. Let's just call it a three mile walk and then we'll just get on with our lives. But, so, you know, she's had this surgery. She's lost all this weight. I'm like, hey, you know, I quit drinking PBR by the gallon and pee in the bed all the time, too. So, you know, like, I make good choices, too, sis. I'll support you on this if you want. And it was in Portland, and, uh, you know, you kind of get accustomed when we go and we're doing this 5K, and you get accustomed to who's around you. And I look around, and there's a lady who's, like, probably seven months pregnant. She's right in our pack of people. She's, like, this pregnant. <laughs> And so I tell my sister, I go, hey, you know, like, I'll walk with you this whole day, but uh, no matter what happens, a pregnant lady isn't going to beat me, okay? Like, that's not, I can't live with that. Not going to happen. So, you know, we get towards the end of this thing, and the pregnant lady, she's probably like 20 yards in front of us, and then uh, my sister is here, and I turn to her, and I, you know, I can see the finish line, and I say, hey, sis, this has been fun, but I'm going to go ahead and, and run now. Because, because I can still do that. Like if I think the cops are chasing me or it's double discount day at Denny's or something. Like I can still fucking run, okay? I can run. So I take off running, leave my sister in the, in the dust. I smoke that pregnant lady. God damn. I embarrassed her, man. I had really let her have it. But then like probably 20 yards in front of the pregnant lady, there was a um, this group of like four 50 year old or so ladies. And I guess they heard me running. I don't know. Asthmatic breathing, sweating, I don't know. Uh, one of them turned around, and I'm running, and she hits her friends on the arm, and they all look back, and then they all started running. Yeah, which lets me know they had the same conversation about me. Yeah. What I had about the fucking pregnant lady. Yeah. yeah. No matter what happens today, girls, 300 pound Ronald McDonald is not going to beat us. And they all have cute wristbands on and they put their hands in. Like, 